Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in the vice is an Asba HS6. There you go, that's a HS6 Asba. This was given a rating of 10 um, by Talan Pick, who sent me the lock. I have to say that I, I, I found it really challenging. I haven't gutted it yet, but I have uh, taken a sneak peek at Talan's excellent picking off this lock and I think the reason I found it particularly difficult is because it's got some uh, beveled pins which are just a pig to try and uh, set without oversetting or undersetting and they just love to be every state other than set. Um, so picking this might be a bit messy and a bit lengthier than uh, my other uh, picking videos just because um, it's careful balancing of tensions, resetting sometimes, it's um, it's a bit messy, but it's sort of good fun as well. Uh, but yeah, a, a real a real beast of lock, and the bitting does not help because we've got some very very um, low cuts in in there, so the key pins you know barely need lifting at all, or virtually zero lift on one and four, uh, with some real lows hidden behind at five, six, and two. So yeah, not not an easy one. I've taken the silt up out of the back so this is actually quite dangerous to show you as it works. Um, just to reduce the amount of time the video will take if I do get to a gutting at some point. Ha! I hope. The keyway is particularly... Um, I'll probably show you that closer up um, if I gut it, but uh, you can see here this is, you can already see some of the warding. If I show you the end of the key there, you can definitely see how much warding must be in the lock for it to um, have a key to match that warding. So there you go, you can see a bit better there. Yeah, pretty nasty, huh? So this is um, a 10 steps up from the HS5 that I picked. Um, it's, it's a real beast, I have to say. Uh, I know Talan whizzed through it, but uh, not only is he a better picker than I am, um, uh, well, no, that's it, he's just better picker than I am. Um, I have modified a uh, spare flat flag that I found um, so I'm going to be tensioning quite heavily I have to say clockwise while picking uh, or rotating the flag anti-clockwise uh, yeah okay well time to get on with it so I'll, I'll try and keep a commentary up but uh, yeah we'll see so this is instantly pinned to really heavily bound so and a good click on that goes to the back uh, it looks like pin 6 is now very heavily bound it's reduced the tension a little bit lots of counter rotation on that one and 2's dropped just, just reset that. Five now for feel. A little click there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to um, just tap the lock. It sometimes helps with those um, uh, slightly overset pins and then go back in and see what we've got. Two, nothing, three, nothing, four, nothing. Ah, good, yes. Five now up. Set one, nothing, two, three, nothing on three, four, nothing yet. Let go of all the tension, well, a lot of tension, just uh, go across the pins a little bit. Looks like. Six isn't set at all now. Going along the pins, seeing if there's anything that can be set. And looks like five. Uh, 
that's a one. One seems fine. Two seems fine. Three, four. Definitely needs to get onto five. Two, three. Ah, oh, oh, we've got an open. My goodness, that was a lot faster than I thought. Ah, don't pull that. The circlip's at the back. Lock noob, and you're going to be in trouble. Okay. Phew. Gosh, that's the fastest I think I've picked it. Um, not a fun thing. So I'm going to just release the tension on that vice. Hold it there for you. Move that out of the way. Move the camera. And keep that in focus. Um, do you know what, I'm always paranoid um, when I'm gutting locks. You know, I think part of it is, hey, look, you know, look look how hard the pins are, aren't I brilliant? And part of it's, um, you know, hey, we all love locks, why don't we see what's inside? And then there's a little bit of, I really have to show people that, you know, all the pins are in there in case they think I'm cheating, despite the fact that in, um, basically two years of uh, this channel. Well, not quite. Um, I think it's like May is two years of the channel. Um, nobody's ever really accused me of cheating. But, you know, that's paranoia for you guys. Uh, okay. Maybe you should accuse me of cheating in this video. That would cheer me up. Yeah, just, just yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so, um, oh God, I hate dimple locks. Well, I don't hate dimple locks, I like picking them. I just, uh, in my head, got to figure out what's going on with the pins. So, <sighs> drive pins in the Bible, key pins there, rotate it round. That's going to be a big mess if I do that. Can I rotate it a bit further? Yes, I can. And that should mean that, should mean that uh, none of those pins fall out. If I push it gently now, there we go. All right. I'm very interested to know what's going on in here. I really am actually, because I genuinely have struggled with this lock. I just have um, one hmm. long standard, two, I'll turn it right way up, standard, nothing special about the Core, which is good, no undercutting or counter milling or anything. And da, 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 so all standard it appears. That's good. Well, that's a good start. Doesn't quite explain why I found it so difficult because these aren't beveled at all. No beveling on the edges uh, that I can see, uh, not even slightly, just rounded like you'd a normal key pin. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so embarrassing. This is actually all standards, isn't it? Um, sit there moaning about a lock and then it turns out that it's actually uh, oh okay yeah yeah I can see what's happening here I might just take these out and show you later but yeah this is starting to piece together why it was a pain in the what's it and I, there has to be a spool in here. There has to be. Look, this pin six has to be a spool. Oh, just realised I haven't got any of that in camera. Okay, here we go. Yes, yes, we have got a spool. Okay. So, if I ring that up for you, nice sharp spool uh, in six. But then you've got all these, and they're, they're, they're like a barrel pin, but they're sort of like a, a beveled edge. Let me take one out. So in some locks, um, you get anti-bump pins, which are quite similar to this. There, but you can see how they've got a, a slightly thinner, oh. Yep, I found it, I found it. Aha, there we go. A slightly thinner edge um, just there and there and what what ends up happening in the lock is you pick it um, and it picks to the first line and acts a little bit like a t-pin um, 
and it just can sit just in that uh, shear line and cause you all sorts of misery. Um, Lockwood do pretty nasty beveled pins as well. Um, uh, arguably worse than these actually, or maybe they're just the tolerances are better than the Asper brand, but uh, yes, that was really good fun. So Talon Pick, I think that's the last one of the, the tens uh, which you sent me. So um, yeah, I think I've progressed quite well. Everybody else, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed um, this sort of dimple lock series. I'll be picking more dimple locks in the future, but this has been sort of a retraining for me. I've been uh, letting my dimple skills lapse um, over the last year or so. So um, yes, Talon Pick again, thank you so much for all those locks. Uh, you're amazing, and I'll see everyone else next time. Um, I was just putting the lock back together and I realised that I can show you the effect that these um, bevel pins can have when you're trying to pick the lock. Um, because if you imagine, uh, instead of working rotationally, um, it's working sort of laterally, but ne never mind. If I get one of these pins and we pretend that we're setting it, so we're... we're going to push on the follower we can pretend that that's similar to rotating the core of the lock to provide tension so at the moment it's not bound it's springy I put tension on the pin it's bound by the shear line I then pick it so um, pretend the tip of this is my key pin and I pick 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 and I pick 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 and then I hear this nice click there we go and then we're set right I press on it, it feels a bit solid um, but other than that it seems it seems set in fact sometimes you can get a little spring on it because it's sort of caught on that on that lip um, so you can be sort of hard to show you but yeah you can be sort of caught that's it like this so it's actually out and it can feel springy um, even sometimes especially if there's another pin slightly binding and it can sort of be at that false shear line. And that's what I'm saying um, I just find so difficult. Um, sometimes the way to get around it is by putting really, really strong tension on. And then hopefully, you know, it'll, it'll go. But sometimes it just doesn't. Sometimes it just wants to just catch at that little fake um, shear line like this. And then, and then it, yeah, like I said, it can either be springy or sort of feel sort of fully set. Even though it's clearly not that shear until it gets pushed again. So that's that's really uh, the issues I was having with that lock. Um, at least that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Okay, thanks for watching that little bonus and I'll see you next time.